In the land of video production, audio plays a huge role when it comes to your videos, and getting the audio right can be a difficult task. I ought to all people know this because I struggled with audio greatly in the beginning, and then I found an awesome system that I use that's really easy, really fast, that helps me get clean, crisp audio when I'm shooting a subject. This method works with pretty much any microphone you're using, whether it be a Rode VideoMic Pro, whether it be a lavalier mic, whether it be a boom mic, it doesn't matter. It pretty much works all the same. And the truth is, generally no audio is perfect straight out of the microphone, especially with microphones like the Rode VideoMic Pro and the lavalier mics. Oftentimes straight out of camera, these microphones sound like they're in a cardboard box. So I'm gonna show you how to get that clean, crisp audio for your videos. So without any further delay, let's hop on into Adobe Premiere Pro and Adobe Audition, because I'm gonna be using that as well and I'll show you exactly how it's done. All right, so the first thing you're gonna wanna do is go ahead and load up Premiere Pro and put your video file in there. We're also gonna be using Adobe Audition, which I'll show you in one second. It's gonna be really important to make sure that you get some type of room tone because room tone can help eliminate a little bit of background noise. Computers, air conditioning units, all of that stuff can cause a little bit of background noise and we're not gonna remove it completely, but I'm gonna show you exactly what we're gonna do with it. So pop up in here into Premiere Pro. This is the audio clip that we're gonna be using. This is the audio that we're going to be testing and we're going to The first thing we're gonna do is right click and click edit clip in Adobe Audition. I prefer using Audition. You can do this stuff in Premiere too. I feel like Audition gives you a little bit more flexibility. All right, so the first thing you're gonna do, this room tone right here, we're gonna go ahead and highlight this. This is kind of like a silent spot. Go over to effects, click noise reduction and capture noise print. Then you're gonna press Control A or Command A to highlight all of it. Click effects, noise reduction, noise reduction process. Now these are the settings that I use, 33% at 38 decibels with a spectral decay of 10%, one smoothing, seven for the precision factor and zero for the width. You don't wanna take all of the noise out because a little bit of room noise is natural. You just wanna kind of bump it down just a little bit. Go ahead and press apply. All right, so now you're gonna hop over to effects, go to filter and EQ, click parametric equalizer, and we're gonna use the vocal enhancer preset. I really like this preset right off the bat, so just press apply. Then go up to effects, amplitude and compression and click dynamics. We're gonna use another preset here called soft compression. I really like the way this sounds. Turn on your limiter and start to push this the makeup the up. This is that we're going to be testing and we're going to be working with. Now, as you could tell straight out of the bat, what I wanna do here is I wanna push the makeup all the way into the limiter just starts kicking in. So it looks to be around 11 decibels. Let's check one more time. This is the audio that we're going to be testing and we're gonna be working with. Now, as you could tell straight out of the bat, it sounds like- Let's go with 10, cause it did kick in at 10.6. Just press apply. And then we're gonna go up to effects one more time filter and EQ, parametric equalizer, and apply the vocal enhancer one more time. And this is what it sounds like now. This is the audio that we're going to be testing and we're going to be working with. Now, as you could tell straight out of the bat, that's pretty much it. It's a quick and easy way. Again, you can do this 100% in Premiere with the exception of the noise print, but most of this stuff can be accessed in the effects rack under Premiere Pro. I just like to do it in Audition. I find that it's really easy, really quick, and it's an efficient way to get good sounding audio on your subject. Once you're done with that, just save the file, Control S, Command S, close it, and it'll be updated here in Premiere. This is the audio that we're going to be testing and we're and that is all you have to do, you're done. If you enjoyed today's video, please give it a thumbs up, put a comment in the description below, I'd love to hear feedback. And as always, subscribe to the channel so that you can see more videos like this and click the bell button so that you get a notification when they drop. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you guys on the next video. Audio testing, testing the levels. Room silence, room tone. Can't do that when you're doing room tone.